morning. Um, it should have been there, so I don't know. Do you want to use my phone? Is my account on there? You just have to sign in. Um. <laughs> oh, hi. I will message you as soon as this live is over. I have, it's for the, um, the disco party cake. I can't, um, she's messed because, um, the sprinkles I ordered is oh. for her cake. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I, I want to make that. I'm excited about that cake. <laughs> I get excited when certain cake orders come in because, um, sometimes they're like, yeah, wait, I thought you were going to try. Yeah, it's downloading. Oh, good Lord. You know, I don't have Facebook. Okay. What about my, my phone? Oh, maybe. So I'm trying to log on to Facebook so I can do the live on Facebook also. You talk. Okay. Um, and as we've been mentioning, I'm going to be doing a small tutorial. Is that working? Okay. But face it this way. This one. There we go. All right. So I just used that iPod for... You should have. Oh, that's fixy. Get me, oh, here's my towel right here. Sorry, we're just trying to do, I'm trying to log on to Facebook, but I never go live on Facebook. What the heck? Um, <gasps> it's on it. It's on, start live, there we go. It's a little far. Sorry. All right, so feel free to share this message. Today I'm doing a demo, a quick demo on, um, I have this. I can watch the messages, I guess, because oh, well, you're you're not that far. All right. Um, a quick demo using products from Alicia's Sugary Essentials um, products, and I know. Do we still have an apple in the fridge? It's. Let me see if I can show you a quick picture. It's on this fridge. We have two refrigerators only for my um, cake orders. Yeah, but the stick's broken. That's fine. Does it still have the flour on it? No. Oh, well then no. I want the flour. I'm doing... Okay, so let me show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing two ways of doing the flowers. If you see the flour on the apple... Okay, we're doing, please feel free to share. I don't know how to focus it. I'm so sorry, but it's the, it's the um, flower that I used on the apples. That one's just a very, very simple flower. And I will be showing somewhat of the same flower two different ways, three different ways or so on. Um, but first, wanted to let you know Alicia sells a kit a complete kit for this um, in order for you to be able to achieve these flowers and dry as they should um, and I, I can't remember the price because now I'm using my phone so but she sells a kit just go on to sugary essentials on Instagram um, and just message her she's so nice she's beyond nice or else I wouldn't be doing this live for her um, <laughs> sorry just honest and um, just ask her how much is the sit. I, I want to say it's 32 or 23. I, I can't check because it's on my phone. Um, what have you. So let's start, about, let's talk about the tools you'll need. First things first, the cutter. It's a set of cutters. Okay. Here's the set. The full set. Okay. Now, the, this set is actually to make a rose right you're supposed to make a rose with this however um we can make we can do whatever we want just because it's a rose set doesn't mean we only can make roses right so this is the flower set okay i'm going to be using the smallest one and if you look at it it has um can you see like the cavity goes all the way down to just about the center okay it goes just about to the center so the bigger the flower you wish to have, the bigger mold you use. I'm only going to use the small one today. 
okay? And I keep it all in a Ziploc bag all together. And then I have my cutter bins in my, my storage room right here, okay? Um, this is a mat that came in the kit from the Wilton flower packet, all right? Um, now, I believe Alicia sells. <laughs> I've been in my A, Vero. Um, Alicia sells the mole just for the center ring, okay? Um, many people sell it, but Alicia sells it with, a, I believe it's a variety of them, okay? That's the center. One of the centers. I like the one with the bunch of, like, the, the bigger cavity holes. I like that one the most, okay? Now, the, I don't know, I forgot what this is called, the, the roller, okay, the smoother. I like the biggest one. It comes with a set of five, I believe, and Alicia, when you purchase the set, she, you get the whole set. Um, I'm only going to use the big fat one with the medium-sized ball on the bottom, okay? Okay. I miss you too, Vettel. I have things to tell you. All right. What else? Let me move forward. Um, the Ateco cutters. Okay, this is not in the set. This is just um, a different kind of flower. Okay. This. Um, you know what? Just text her and tell her the Easy Flower demo that Pepsi made, and she'll know exactly what it is. I want to go into my phone and check, but I'm using it for the Facebook since I couldn't do it with my other stupid little iPod. Um, or message me later and I'll tell you, okay? Now, this Ateco is a set, is 12 pieces. Um, you don't need all 12. I'm going to go with, which would be, this is the first small, second small, oh crap, um, and then I'm going to go with the third and the fourth small, okay? Just to have a variation of sizes, okay? This is the ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to put the rest away. Now, this is also another cutter. Um, this one is a carnation cutter. Okay. Um, this one does not come in the set. I just wanted to show you guys that you pretty much do the exact same thing with a variety of items. Okay. You need a foam mat. Okay. Uh, the foam mat does come in the set. So which is cool. These foam mats run about five to six dollars each. So, and if you know me, I have a bunch of them. Um, it's just, I'll use, and, and they start getting a little dirty after you start putting cornstarch in. So it, it's ideal to buy at least, you know, two or three of them. Um, so you have variety. You're gonna be throwing these away like, like hot water. All right. A rolling pin does not come in the set. This is an, a, a tool that you should already have if you're a decorator or a cake maker, cake baker, treat maker, a chocolate maker, whatever you are. And if you sell things that have to do, hi Melissa, with um, fondant, um, this is a small rolling pin, okay? And this one I got, this one's my one of my favorites. Um, this one I got when I was in, they gave it to me in my class packet and it's been my favorite and I don't know what brand it is. It doesn't have, it's heavy. It's very, very heavy. So it works good. The, um, the heavier, the better. Uh, so I have like a Wilton one that's like really light. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, okay. So here we have a foam. You don't need this however I like to have these for flowers um, you can just put your flowers in here or whatever your pieces and they dry out because foam has a lot of air pockets and a lot of um, air gets in CMC does not come in the packet however um, you need it okay I'm going to be using just to give it a nice little shiny touch, this is um, the White Diamond from Sugar Art. Um, I kinda wanna put my hair up. Malia, um, edible glue. 
This does, I believe does not come in the packet, but Alicia sells this edible glue. Um, this one is from Little Honeys, and it's pretty big. Can you give me a Liga? Thank you. I'm sorry. I just got to get my hair out of my way. If you've seen me throughout this quarantine, I have had my hair in a bun, in a messy bun, just like that. All quarantine because I'm just not having it. Um, these flowers are not in order. These are just for demo purposes. So I would right now get up and wash my hands because I touched my hair, but this is just for demo. And then after the demo, I'm just pretty much going to throw them away. So I'm not going to wash my hands. All right. Now I have here 2.3 millimeters of the silver pearls. Um, I was, <coughs> I found these at a cake show. This does not come in the demo. I mean, I'm sorry, they're not come in the packet. I just wanted to show you some different um, tools. These pearls are perfect. Malia, shoot, I forgot something. You need to stay around here. <laughs> um, can give me my crystal katana? I think it's in that toolbox right there, the little one. All right. These are tiny, 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 tiny little pearls. No? Okay, in the in the square one. Square one? Yeah, under the duck. Duck. Okay. These are tiny. And these are beautiful to add around the ring. Okay. Gloves. If not, I have it in here. My mess. I got one. I got one. Okay, I like the crystal katana uh, for the pearls. It works. It's the best. Crystal katana comes with a bunch of tools, so I'm just gonna take the crystal katana out. And also, it comes with this one is not in the packet, but if you go to Crystal Ninja. You can purchase it directly from her. Um, hi, Christy. And it comes with this little guy where you could pearl, throw the pearls in here and it just holds the pearls instead of having it somewhere else. So I'm going to use this. We'll set this somewhere right here. And one of the most important tools that you're going to need for this flower, um, and I, I'll let you know, is that I was very naive. And I only purchased one. Um, so depending on how many flowers you need to make or how many orders you're going to do. So like, for example, if you're going to have a set, an apple sale, which I had this weekend, um, and um, you have 50 apples. So you need 50 cavities. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is my Arcom Mount ring light. <laughs> Don't forget to use coupon code Pepsi Cakes. <laughs> um i leave it here so i don't lose it okay so this little guy is a flower former mold okay it's literally called flower form okay you need at least as many as flowers you're going to make okay uh this is made out of plastic and each cavity has a little hole inside it um tiny tiny little hole which lets air get in um, to dry your fondant on the bottom side all right so let's get started um, I hope I explained all the tools oh and here's my little pouch with um, cornstarch and powdered sugar okay I use how do you say this nitro 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 gloves um, you could use vinyl no not vinyl is it vinyl? yeah vinyl um try to stay away from latex gloves um because if somebody's allergic to latex and you touch you know their products and they eat it you know you could be liable for that so stay away from latex i use powder free um, these are black, however, I, I'm very running really short on my orange ones, and if you know me, I love orange and green. <laughs> I love my orange gloves, I miss them. All right, let's get started. Here I have some fondant, and I'm just going to start softening it up. Sweet Missy, why are you on? Aren't you supposed to be doing a demo? 
All right, so I am, let me move the phone. You're gonna see a lot of booms, but I'm so sorry. All right. This guy is big. Yeah, you're gonna see booms and belly. Sorry, all right. So now we're gonna start. You also need a silicone mat. I use this one, it's a perfect size. It's from Porsche. Your Cake Diva. I love it. I think it's 12 by 12. It is perfect in size and super, super thin. Okay, so now we're just softening up the fondant. And in order to maintain the shape of what you want to do, you need to apply some CMC. Okay, CMC, some Tylos. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. What that is, it's a stabilizer, which will um, stabilize your edible product, which is fondant. It is CMC is also used in ice cream, which holds the shape of the paleta. So if you go to um, La Michoacana or what have you, um, everything you eat has CMC. CMC does not have a flavor. It will not alter your palette your flavor or anything all it does is helps you maintain this the shape sorry trying to get this guy you might see some dogs right here <laughs> okay so I just touched it I'm gonna touch it again um, the more CMC you put on your fondant the harder your your fondant piece will be um, and if you don't work fast enough, I would highly suggest not to put that much CMC because your fondant will get really hard and will dry out really, really fast. And then it's going to be really hard for you to work with it. Okay. Um, okay. So again, I'm using stuff from Alicia from Sugar Essentials. Okay. Here's my fondant. <coughs> my fondant ball is ready. I'm going to apply some cornstarch so that my fondant doesn't stick to the mat. And I'm going to roll this guy out. Alright, um, I also like to apply some on top or on my rolling pin. Because then you saw what happened, that's what happens. Now, um, I, when I was learning how to make cakes and working with fondant, um, I was told that pieces on cakes or treats need to look delicate, okay? Which means if your fondant piece is really thick, it doesn't look delicate. It looks kind of, um, you know, rough. So my fondant's fairly thin. If you are, if you have a good view, you can kind of sort of already see the mat through the fondant. Okay. Now I'm going to cut two of these guys out. Um, also, a good tool is the, um, the plastic, the flower plastic. It's like a book and it has like two little flaps of plastic in it. It holds your fondant moist or, you know... It doesn't dry out your fondant, it'll hold it there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut two out of this one. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do all my cutting right now. Okay, hot Portia, you see your mat? Look at this, always, always. Um, okay, so, okay, so we have two flowers, and if you see the shapes, it, show, it cuts out everything. All right, so that's that one. I'm gonna cut two of one of each circle, okay? So this was the third size and the fourth size on the 12 pizza teco circle cutter. And this one's a little easier to cut because it is metal. Okay, there we go. We have two circles. That's done. And um, Let's pray that this one works because this one is a little feisty. It has a lot of um, cuts or little sections. This is called the carnation cutter. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't know if Alicia sells this one. Um, but you can ask her. It's the carnation cutter. 
and it cuts like this. You see that? Okay. Alrighty. So we need two of those. Okay. Hi, Barry. How are you? Okay, so here's the carnation cutter. Now that it has the backing, you can kind of see how the shape of the carnation is. Um, and then we just push it out. Alrighty, so all my fondant pieces are cut out that I'm doing. Now, if I was doing an order of 100 apples or 50 apples, I would need 100 pieces. Um, I, I like the carnation cutter also. It's really pretty. Uh, so I would probably, I would, to be honest with you, cut out all my pieces first and apply them into the book. Mina, can you give me that plastic, the plastic, so I can show them? I know mine is probably like all tweaked. This fondant is still good. You can still reuse it. However, because it has CMC, what I would do is I would put it in a different book. I'm sorry, different, um, yeah, in a different um, baggie, and then I'll put it back inside the um, fondant, okay? Cut because it already has CMC. That way, next time I open up the fondant bucket and I see this little baggie, I know that this is the fondant that I already used that already has uh, CMC in it, okay? I need to go this way because that's right there in Tank's ass. Okay, this is the book that I'm saying. So if you were using a lot, you would just put them in here and I close it up and this will keep it moist or, um, you know, usable. It won't dry out the fondant, okay? So now we have all our pieces here, all right? You need to work on the foam mat for this, all right? If you go straight onto the silicone mat, you're not going to get the, the, the body that you want your flowers to have, right? And this is where we use our rolling pin or um, our, our ball tool, okay? I'm going to put some cornstarch. I'm going to leave the cornstarch right here on it. And then we start forming our fondant, okay? Half of the ball tool is going to be on the fondant. Half of the ball tool is going to be on my foam mat, okay? The reason why is because that is how we're so we're thinning out our fondant and giving it the shape that it wa that we want it to have, right? Mind you, the fondant is mine. I want the fondant to work the way I want it to work. Therefore, oh, thank you, Christy. Um, therefore, I'm applying it how I want it. I will do it like in the center somewhere so you guys can see the difference in why we're doing half fondant, half foam mat, okay? So here we go. Half fondant, half format. We're gonna start giving it the flowery shape, okay? That was just one circle. I went around it only once. If that's enough for you, you can leave it there, okay? You can stop and run. If you wanted to have more um, waves just go at it again I'm gonna go at it again just to show you I can also go down to the smaller size which will give it more um, like you see how it has like a wave a big wave and then us you know goes to a bigger wave. that's because I use the bigger ball if I use the smaller ball the waves would be smaller okay does that make sense I hope so if not I can't see what you guys are saying but okay so I'm gonna go on the smaller ball just to show you, okay? And you see how they're smaller now? Okay. You see how they're smaller now? Now the waves are not as separated as they were before. Got it? Awesome. This guy is the big one. I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna call this my miracle flower molder because this little guy saved my life. I need to buy like 10 more of these. Alicia, I need 10 more. <laughs> All right, got it? I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna get my glue. My, I like the glue that it comes like this because I can just leave it here. I don't have to pour it into anything. Um, it's right here. So I'm gonna put it, this guy right here let's see where where can you guys see it right here let's move this guy so you guys can see more oh that went down the drain my paintbrush 
and my little guy that holds my paintbrush right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have it ready because then I'm gonna start gluing. So if I had 80 of these to do, I would do 80 of the large ones, work, 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 apply them in their circle. Then I would go back and go ahead and apply just a tiny, tiny bit of gum glue or you know the edible glue in the center just to have it there and then start working on the centerpiece which is this one and my bow tool half now let me i didn't do it all the way i want to show you guys if i wasn't touching the mat how it would look um yeah it's my little panda or my bear my white bear holds my paintbrush all right I'm gonna show you what it would look like if I'm not half half, half on the mat, half on the fondant, all right? Just the center, okay? So I just did the center. You see how it didn't give me any creases, didn't give me any body to the flower. That is why you need to be half on the fondant, half on the mat. Um, yes, I do glue it while the fondant is wet. Um, I, I, yeah. And I'm going to go twice around. I wanted a little bit more body. I'm going to separate it right there. So I'm going to go to the smaller one. Now the set. Hey. The set that you get with Alicia comes with a variety of sizes. Okay. This is the large one. Um, so if you want to have smaller little waves, like a carnation, you use the smaller ball tool. All right. So my fondant is wet. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the center no. and because, I'm so sorry. These dogs are wearing like, like hot cakes. Malia. All right. So somebody's having a party over there. So there, now I have my two flowers, my two pieces sitting in the cavity and I'm going to let them dry until they get hard. When they get hard, they're ready for me to apply onto uh, the tree, right? Now, um, I do have some, I wanna call them chocolate pieces because that's all they are. I didn't put any Oreos inside them. They should have had Oreos, you know, for treats or what have you. But for demo purposes, they're just chocolate, all right? Here, so that I after the after the demo or after the flowers are all done, um, we can go ahead and do it. Nina, can you give me a tad bit of white fondant? I didn't get the the center. White? Yes, just a pinch. All right. So now I'm gonna do the one that comes. I am connected on Instagram and Facebook. Does that mean? Okay. So now I'm going to do the one that comes with the packet, with the Alicia Shuri Essential Tool. Is so, it, where is it? Uh, yeah, just a piece. I'm going to use the smaller one. And again, only on the edge, half on the mat, half on the fondant. Okay. Now let's do the next one. Thank you. Half on the mat, half on the fondant, and I'm using the smaller. Um, and you do apply pressure. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. You do apply pressure. And um, this is a, now I'm going to show you another way of how to glue your fondant, your fondant flowers. Okay, so again, I'm going to grab some glue, put it in the center of one of them, put my brush back to where it little should be and apply the fondant flower on top of each other put them together and then move these two to the cavity now you could only do this if your fondant is still wet all right yes this is a very firm um i want to say half an inch thick foam mat the question was if this is a uh, um, what do you call it? A firm mat. Um, how hard do you press? Oh, I'm so sorry. Good job. Good. I was just answering that too. You do press 
firmly. It, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna press hard, and I'm gonna show you guys. Um, hi, Pamela. Um, Pamela. I don't know how to say the last name. She is the coordinator of culinary arts of the OC Fair, and I'm gonna miss her this year because, as you all know, the OC Fair has been canceled. But next year we're gonna come back ten times stronger. Okay. Now I'm gonna on this one. I'm gonna not press hard and show you guys the difference of not giving a firm press and how the the creases or the body is very very light okay so if I don't press anything you see that you get nothing you get literally just a little nothing all right so now I'm gonna give it what I want and I'm gonna use the smaller one this is a carnation and what I like on the carnations I like to press on the outside and go in press in press in press in um, and you'll see why so now what I'm doing is because I'm going from the tip and I'm going in, I'm curling the leaf, okay? I'm curling it or whatever. Um, so now it's standing up like this versus like this, all right? Let's do it to both. I'm going to go ahead, press the outside, go in, press the outside, go in. Now, if you guys have never made carnations, um, I will be happy to show you guys how to make carnations. Those are my favorite flowers to make because they're the easiest flowers to make versus, in, instead of these. All right, here we go. Now again, my glue. And go. And it doesn't look too pretty right here, but that's okay because when I put it into my flower former, it's going to close a little. So now I had it like this. Now I put it in the flower former and it holds just like this. And now it's giving me actual, moving the leaves and putting them where I want them. Remember the leaves, this fondant is mine and it's gonna do what I want it to do. And that's because it is mine. All right, got it? So here we have, let's put them on the same line so that you guys can see okay <clears throat> so this one right here was the circles okay this one was the circles <clears throat> this one was the carnations okay carnations and this one was this one okay in all honesty this one looks the prettiest okay this one always looks the prettiest Okay, this one is lazy, and this one is too much detail. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna set these aside, and that's gonna go forward to um, the center. What is the center called? Okay, so here I have some white fondant, and I'm gonna do only. I'll do I'll do this one with the lot, and then this one that's wider. And then I'll do a diff, uh, just the pearls and so on for one of them. That way you can see the, the variations of centers. Okay, again, this is the white fondant. I'm going to just dab the um, Brentford. Oh, well, hi, how are you? Okay, I'm just going to dab it into the CMC. Again, now I'm going to knead it in. Curious to know. Yes, <clears throat> they do hold their shape. Uh, you just have to make sure you, so the question is for those that are on Facebook and not on Instagram, the uh, curious wants to know if the dry fondant, fondant pieces will hold their shape once applied onto frosting. And yes, they do. Um, they, they do hold their shape. They need to be completely dry. Um, once the fondant pieces are completely dry, you can't bring them back to moisture level, I guess I want to say. Um, they'll stay hard. Break or you'll break them. True. They'll break. They get fragile. Um, the question on Facebook is, where can we get the trays? You can buy the trays from Sugary Essentials. She's on Instagram. Um, just go straight to Sugary Essentials and just, if you, it's called the flower form. 
or just tell her the form mold that Pepsi used in the demo and she'll know. She knows exactly what I'm using today. All right, so here I have my white fondant. It's already with CMC. Um, yes, I, you know, I don't know. Anna, Anna's saying she's gonna level up her brownies. But to be honest with you, she I have never tasted any of her brownies. So, um, what should we say about that? <laughs> I'm just playing Anna. She's cool. Okay, so now you don't when you're using molds, and I'm sure most of you have used fondant molds. Um, and I don't know how you guys use your molds. However, the oh yes, and sugary essentials is sugary underscore essentials um on instagram there was an issue with her her account that had like over thirty thousand followers and something happened i'm not sure so she had to reopen a new account and now it's under sugary underscore essentials all right so back to the fondant molds um i don't know how you guys use them this is how i use them it works for me if it works for you Take my idea, or my, the way I use them, the way I was taught, and run, all right? I don't like to overload my mold. I'd rather have less fondant than too much fondant into the mold, okay? The reason why is once you overload your mold, you start getting a little antsy, and you start using sharp tools, or you start using fondant knives and so on, and then you start messing with the shape, okay? I'll show you how you can fix it having less. So here, for example, I have a lot less fondant than I know I'm going to need. And I know it didn't cover it, okay? So you see how there's still enough, there's more room for more fondant, okay? What I'm gonna do is leave that piece there and just grab another tiny, tiny piece and apply it into the center because now what I'm doing is I'm um, going to add fondant and the original fondant I can't see what Alicia messaged me so sorry um, uh, and then you're just applying it more and you're not going to see the creases or the lines or what have you okay okay there we go there we go so I just applied more fondant now you can see it on the back side but you can't see it in the front side and if I want, there we go, there we go. Alrighty, now let me use, I'm gonna let that guy sit there for a little bit while I go ahead and move forward onto the bigger one for the other flower, okay? Again, I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch inside there. And again, it's better to use less fondant than too much fondant, okay? This has less fondant, and all I'm gonna do is add some to the back and to the center. Don't start trying to add it on the side. This is not a pie. You don't go and adding stuff to the side because then you start seeing the differences when you take it or when you release it from the mold. You see the differences in the shape. If you just add it to the back, the center will start, the bottom will start pushing out, and there we go. Okay, do you see that? Got it? Beautiful? Thank you. All right. So now I have um, here a scribe. This scribe was gift, gifted to me, I'm going to say. Um, it was actually supposed to be in my 5,000 follower packet, but all right. And I'm just with the scribe, I'm just going to pinch it. It's not dry enough yet. Let me take my gloves off. Okay. I'm folding the mold back and releasing. And here is the center, if you could see it. This, on the Facebook, it looks really nice and clear. This one, I think the light's too heavy. Let's change the light. Let's turn off the light. <laughs> there we go. You see it? All right, beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that sitting here for a second while I get the other stuff. And done. All righty. My trash always... If you take a glove off, you have to use new ones. You can't reuse the same ones. Okay. <clears throat> so, and um, I use um, gloves 
a lot when I'm using the when I'm playing with fondant because fondant tends to start sticking to your hands and then you lose I don't have hot hands um, my daughter has hot hands and she's able to mess with the fondant and get really beautiful pieces I don't have that I my hands are, I guess I'm cold like I'm cold-hearted um, so I, that <laughs> I said like I'm cold-hearted <laughs> she's over here correcting me all right so now let's move forward all right so here is my flowers ready I'm gonna apply some glue sometimes I even like to let these guys sit backwards and then with the glue I'll grab it like this and then I'll go into let's see I want to use this one and just go ahead and slide it in pushing it down and then it stayed there all right so that one's done ready I'm gonna use the big one for the carnation and grab it if it doesn't grab because this one might be big all right to the carnation and just lightly tap it if you start pushing it down you're you're gonna get rid of all the shape okay so there we go there you go got it awesome now I'm gonna start doing another one. Let's say you don't have, you can't find this mold, you know, some because I know the molds come really tiny. This one is a, a, a set that I have, but the set, usually you buy them and they're like those little tiny, tiny little pink or white or yellow molds. You, let's just say you can't find it, right? And you're like going crazy. So now just go ahead and get some glue, apply it into the center, all right? Where's my teddy bear? Right there. And with my crystal katana, I can roll a ball of fondant, a tiny one, and apply it there. And that could be my center. Um, and then, so I'll put that there. But then it looks kind of wah wah. You know, it needs a little bit of love. So I'm going to get, oh, here they are. My time. Oh, so like I was saying earlier, is I bought these at, um, at the PME booth at one of the cake shows. So if you ever see these, I recommend you buy quite a bit. All right. Um, this is a crystal katana. Okay, it's crystal ninja. Now this this tool is not no longer in in the bamboo. It's black, and I love it. But I have a lot of them. And it comes with this little mat where you can just dump the pearls in so that I don't, you know, lose my pearls. With the black part, I'm going to go ahead and touch it. I have a pearl here, and I'm going to apply it where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply pearls all along the, the black. I'm sorry, the, <clears throat> the the white fondant ball that I applied there. And it just gives it a little bit more of a, a fancy look. Okay. And as I'm putting these balls down, I could feel the fondant <clears throat> already hardening and already just about dry. So that is why it's really important to have this beautiful plastic mold because it has the hole underneath and it's giving it air to dry on the other side so again sugary essentials on instagram sugar sugary underscore essentials okay and then with the metal you can play the with the pearls to where you want them <clears throat> and here we go do you see that how pretty it looks it looks very elegant it looks very Tiffany if the flower was a Tiffany blue and then the pearl was black with the silver little tiny pearls along the side it will look beautiful all right um Malia okay. in my drawer I have my pink tub can you get it the drawer. yeah in the drawers right here all right so now I'm gonna put my glue away Oh, the sticker came. Oh, wrong, wrong lid. This one? Yeah. 
So now I have a lot of leftover pearls and I'm going to dump them in here. <laughs> I always have my name on stuff if you guys don't notice. And then I'm going to open this little guy up. This is such a funny tool, but it works really great. And dump them into my case and I'm done. Done. Okay. So that's what that's for. Um, closing all my lids. Alrighty. Now I'm going to bring my chocolate so-called Oreos. <clears throat> oh crap. I need the glue again. You can apply um, these fondant pieces onto chocolate using the edible glue. It, it works fine. Or you can melt chocolate and just, you know, apply it on here also and use that as a glue. It, it really, it's your preference, whatever you wish. All right, let's go ahead. It's not dry yet. I just wanted to show you guys somewhat. Well, see, if it was nice and pretty and dry, this is what it would look like, but it's not dry. All right, so the flower, it's not dry. I don't, I don't like it. I think the carnation is dry. Nope, nope, they're not dry yet. I'll apply it. I'll do a video, or I'll apply a picture later once the fondant piece is dry. Okay, but if I was doing like a million of these, um, by the time I come back to my first one, my first one would be drying. Oh, the Crystal Katana. Um, you can go straight. I, I believe she's on Instagram. She's called the Crystal Ninja. Um, I'll post a picture and I'll tag everything, everybody with the tools I used. Um, I'll tag them on my Instagram. Um, okay. Now, last but not least, I'm just about done. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it here? Oh, it's 11.40. All right. Now, to make 11.50, 11.50, okay, so I should have a couple more minutes, all right, um, this, this diamond dust, it's a edible dust from Sugar Art, and just to give it like a nice little shine, or a little glittery look, you could just pump it, and then it's, and it looks really pretty, and I know you, I know for a fact you probably can't see it, but it's really, really beautiful the way it looks. If you're in person, you'll see the shine. I love this. And there it went. <laughs> Bloopers. Um, it is diamond. And you know what it is? I didn't take the plastic off all correctly. Diamond dust. Diamond dust. Alrighty. Uh, so I'll take a picture and I'll post the, um, I'll tag the tools that you, well, I'll tag the, the locations from where you can get the certain tools. Um, Crystal Katana, Sugary Essentials, Sugary Essentials sells pretty much everything that I use today, except for the Crystal Katana. Uh, she sells the, the kit, which is the flower kit, just Again, message her, say work, you know, the, the flower kit that Pepsi used, and then she'll let you know um, what it was. <clears throat> um, she also sells the Little Honey's glue, which is fairly big. Um, she sells this, the foam mat. Okay, now I'm I'm not trying to make sales. I'm not getting commission. I'm not getting paid to do this. But in all honesty, if you guys do treats and you guys sell treats and you guys sell by the dozen, please don't be a fool like me and only buy one of these. Buy at least two, so you at least have twelve cavities because you know everything comes in a dozen. Um, buy more than you should on these. All right, I was going crazy for Mother's Day. Um, the foam mat, you can do with just one. However, I would recommend at least two, especially if you're gonna be using videos and pictures. You wanna use a nice clean one for always your videos. Your glue will last a long time. Um, the pearl tray, which is this one. Uh, um, Anna? 
This one comes with the crystal katana, which is this. So if that's what you were asking, this one comes with this. Okay, so this is a set, and you can just text Crystal. Her name is Crystal. Um, on Crystal Ninja, I will tag her. Um, and she sells this kit. And this is amazing. Okay. Um, so Alicia, the, the flower former, the set of these. The flower tool. I believe she also sells scribes. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not sure if she sells disco dust or I'm sorry, the, the diamond dust, um, but I'll tag them also. And I think I have everything. Okay. So let me go up so you can see my face, no longer my parts. <laughs> Um, so any questions, please feel free to message me. I'm here to, um, answer any of your questions. Um, it might take me a minute, especially today being Thursday, um, Thursday or Friday, you know, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm very, very, I lose my mind. Um, this Saturday I have, um, my cheesecake sale and my churro cheesecake sale, which cheesecake I have, I think one available, one more left, one available, uh, churro cheesecake. I think I have two more available. Um, next week I will be doing a demo using, I don't know what, um, I got to post it. I'm losing my mind. And what else? That's it, right? Next week is Memorial Weekend. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend. I go. I hope you guys had an amazing Mother's Day. And don't forget to start getting ready for Father's Day. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. So Chrissy Boom is in Canada. Um, I might be there next year. Can't really say, but I might be there next year. Um, so I hope you guys have great sales. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. I am here. Um, Anna, I, I'm going to be sitting here waiting for a brownie. Just playing, just playing. Um, and good luck and thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to repost, tag me when you're done with your work and message Alicia if you have any questions with the items that she sells. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I'm finished. I really have never gone live on Facebook. Okay, so Sorry. I'm going to save it. All right, so feel free to share this message. I know I'm still on Instagram, but this is hilarious. Saving. I think I'm trying to save it. Share. Okay, I did it. All right, so see you guys later. Um, and I'll be posting my next demo soon. All right, bye-bye. Thank you.